Well, the warning went out to would-be troublemakers not to consider making trouble at the Junkanoo Parade. And today, a number of young men who didn't adhere to that warning were arraigned before the courts for various violations. Among those charged was 18-year-old Presley Bullard, who pleaded not guilty to unlawfully carrying a knife. Jerry Reese, who was fined $400 after pleading guilty to having a knife on his person and possession of dangerous drugs. The courts also charged 18-year-old Shaquille Culmer, who pleaded not guilty to throwing missiles. Anthony Sullivan was also granted $2,000 bail after pleading not guilty to disorderly behavior and using obscene language. Deron McIntosh and Freggy Foss Steese was charged with possession of dangerous drugs, while Fritz Neil Desir was sent to community counseling after pleading guilty to drug possession after being advised by Chief Magistrate Roger Gomez to turn a new leaf. The cases have all been adjourned. 18-year-old Dion Campbell was arraigned in court today after being charged with the attempted murder of Cadero Meadows back on December 14th. Campbell is also accused of having a pistol with the intent of endangering the life of Anton Meadows. Campbell was not required to enter a plea. A voluntary bill of indictment will be filed on February 22nd when he returns to court. Campbell has been remanded to prison until that time. Alleged fraudster, 35-year-old Siobhan Watson, was granted bail today after pleading not guilty to a number of fraud-related charges. The Springfield Road resident is accused of using forged Royal Bank of Canada checks, a fake NIB card, and a forged Road Traffic Department driver's license to obtain cash from Scotiabank and the Royal Bank of Canada Palmdale. Watson was granted $8,000 bail with one surety and ordered to report to the nearest police station in his area three times a week. He returns to court January 18th.